Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 10 psychology tricks to build unstoppable confidence. Now let's begin. Number 1. Work in progress Hey, are you afraid to fail? You may think failure is a sign of weakness or inferiority. You may be afraid of being wrong or looking stupid. Because you're afraid of what might happen, you rarely take risks. You make safe decisions inside your comfort zone because your comfort zone gives you confidence. But what happens when you rely solely on your comfort zone? Well, you may be confident in your personal bubble, but that confidence is fragile and it's limited. As soon as you leave your comfort zone, your confidence disappears, leaving you uncertain and afraid. So how do you build confidence that lasts in and out of your comfort zone? How do you adapt to a risky situation even if you don't know what you're doing? Well, to build unstoppable, universal confidence, you need to change your relationship with failure. You shouldn't be afraid to make mistakes, and you shouldn't be afraid to admit when you're wrong. There's nothing weak or inferior about failure, because failure helps you recognize your shortcomings. And that recognition helps you grow personally and professionally. If you never admit that you're wrong, you'll never learn what's right. So remember this, you are a work in progress. Yeah, you may be wrong as often as you're right, but you're trying to improve, and that's something to be proud of. Number 2. The Power of Experience When you leave your comfort zone, you encounter new and exciting opportunities. Some opportunities will take you places you never expected. Others will transform your passions or shape your lifestyle. But you can only encounter extraordinary opportunities by exposing yourself to new experiences. At the center of every confident person is a lifetime of experiences. Confident people aren't fearless or invincible. They're not workhorses or social butterflies. They're students of life who learn through diverse experiences to believe in themselves. All right, let's say you're starting a new job in a field that you know nothing about. On your first day, you're a nervous wreck. But on your second day, yeah, you feel a little bit better, and on day three, you're starting to feel at home. That's how confidence works. Before you experience something new, it is intimidating. But once you overcome that hurdle, your mindset changes and you realize, hey, nothing is as frightening as it seems. So, how do you build unstoppable confidence? Experience. And lots of it. You chase as many opportunities as you can. You expose your life and your mind to new jobs, new people, and new schools of thought. You don't have to understand or master everything. You don't have to encounter everything the world has in store. If you want to build unstoppable confidence, then all you need is the courage to try something new. Number 3. Embracing Change what are you tolerating in your life? Is there a person, a job, or an activity that you're too afraid to let go? Insecurity controls the good and the bad things in your life. It keeps you from chasing the best opportunities, but it also prevents you from letting go of things that make you unhappy. Just think about the choices that you make each and every day and the people that you care about. Are you happy with the direction that your life is headed? Too many people willingly tolerate a lifetime of unhappiness. They have the ability to change, but they choose not to. Why? Because change is terrifying. You never know what else is waiting around the corner, so you cling to familiar things and people even if they make you unhappy. So to build your confidence, believe in your ability to change, empower yourself to make your own decisions, and challenge yourself to be the person you want to be. Think about what that person looks like. What kind of life do they live? What kind of people do they surround themselves with? Now, with that vision in mind, you can start making small, simple changes. You can get rid of an ugly piece of furniture. You can wear an outfit that you've never worn before. You can learn how to curb your bad habits. Change gives you the confidence to make your own decisions, and each one of those decisions makes your life a little bit happier. Number 4. Practice Goals How do you accomplish lofty, lifelong goals? How do confident people motivate themselves to take gigantic risks? Well, the most confident people pursue and achieve their goals, but that does take years of practice. Alright, let's say you want to build confidence in your career. You start by accomplishing something small. You create a handful of manageable goals for yourself. 
Now, on their own, these goals are simple and easy, but that's where confidence begins. You start small, and then you build toward bigger risks and loftier goals. But what do these small goals look like? Well, you start by identifying one massive lifelong goal. Now, you shrink that goal down as small as you can. If you'd like to start your own business, then you read one book about entrepreneurship. If you want to create your own novel, then you write one page or maybe even one paragraph. Hey, it's okay if your goals are tiny in the beginning. There's no shame in building from the ground up. Everyone starts somewhere, even the most confident and successful people. Years ago, they were standing in your shoes. They were setting miniature goals for themselves and slowly developing their confidence. After years of practice, they developed the unstoppable confidence to achieve their dreams. And you can too! Number 5. Follow your advice do you give good advice? Many people give their friends and family great advice, but they don't listen to their own words of wisdom. So to build more confidence, take your own advice. If you tell someone to believe in themselves, then hear what you're saying. There's a reason you're telling other people to do something. It's because it's the right thing to do, and deep down you know that, but you're scared to capitalize on your own understanding. So try this, all right? Next time you're feeling conflicted, pretend your friend came to you with a problem and they're looking for advice. What do you tell them? Now, stare into a mirror and tell yourself what you think they should do. Because the advice you give to others may be the advice you need to hear. Number 6. The Hard Road In life, we're confronted with two choices, the easy road and the hard road. Now, most people dream of rising to the occasion, but in the heat of the moment, they choose the easier path. The most confident people develop their confidence by overcoming challenge after challenge. Confident people struggle and work while others rest and relax. In the long run, these people develop strength, ambition, and confidence because they dared to walk the harder road. So the next time you're making a difficult choice, just imagine those two roads. One easy and one hard, one comfortable and one challenging. And when it matters most, ignore what's comfortable and rise to the occasion. Number 7. Brutal Honesty Have you ever been 100% honest with yourself? Many people struggle with confidence because they aren't willing to identify their problems. They claim other people are responsible for their failures, but your failures are all your own. If you haven't accomplished something, then don't pass the blame onto someone else. Don't act like you're the victim of someone else's mistakes. And even if you are, passing the blame doesn't help you build confidence or find success. In fact, passing the blame hinders your personal growth. Instead, be painfully honest with yourself. If you're unwilling to address your weaknesses, then you'll never be able to improve. The same goes for your strengths. Spend some time honestly reflecting on where you're strong and where you're weak. Because the more you know about yourself, the more confident you'll feel in who you are. Number 8. Express yourself Have you ever stifled a thought because you didn't have the confidence to speak your mind? Many people are unwilling to express themselves. They rarely speak their minds because they're afraid of what others might think. Self-expression is a fundamental piece of your inward and outward confidence. By learning to express yourself, you discover and empower your voice, your opinion, and your perspective. So give yourself a boost of confidence by daring to express yourself. Number 9. Talk to a stranger Are you afraid of awkward moments? Many unconfident people have a low tolerance for discomfort. The smallest bits of uncertainty may send you running for the hills. But you can increase your tolerance by forcing yourself into awkward situations. All you have to do is talk to a stranger. A stranger represents a common obstacle. You don't know what they think, you don't know how they'll react. You imagine worst-case scenarios and most of the time, you run away from all those catastrophic possibilities. 99% of the time, talking to a stranger is a painless experience, but it teaches you to face your fears. So even if you have a boring conversation, it takes confidence and courage to open your mouth and speak. 
So talk to strangers, survive those unbearably awkward moments because that tolerance will make you a more confident person. Number 10. Control Self-Doubt Self-doubt isn't always a bad thing. Even the most confident people doubt themselves before taking a big risk. You experience self-doubt because the challenge in front of you is important. You want to be successful, you want to make a good impression, so you worry about making the right choices. Ah, but those worries and fears can easily take over. You might feel trapped by your own insecurities. So, how do you manage and control your self-doubt? So when your thoughts are spiraling out of control, just step back and think, hey, why am I doubting myself? When you're too close to a problem, you get swept up in the small stuff, you overthink hundreds of impossible scenarios, and then you lose track of the big picture. So back away, gain some perspective, and take control of your fears. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.